Hello world, Lockpicking Dev here. Today I have Master Lock. It is a 1921 uh, model. It is also the um, 100th anniversary edition. As you can see with the nice logo on it. Um, I was excited to get this because, you know, nice logo, collector's edition padlock. But I was also quickly disappointed. And as soon as I get this open, I will show you why. So we're gonna start from the back. Look, I got a one. Make sure. Make sure we actually got it there. Out of three, I'll back in the back. There's four set. That was a spool we just got. There's three set. Another spool we just got. That was two. Sorry. One. I think all we need left is three. There we go. And there is our open and our breaking tension wrench at the same time. So we're gonna hold this in a different tension wrench shove it in here and try to save this real quick so see my tension wrench is breaking <laughs> there we go there's our open and there's our shackle so the reason why I was disappointed in this that uh, yeah nice broken wrench now is because look at that four pins four freaking pins and I'll go home and show you a little bit more about this but first let me take you in here and show you around. This is the Clay Lock the Tree of Life. That's my dog. Yeah. You can see. Fall and down the tree above. beach out here. Work around this. And here's the beach. This is off the Washington State coast. And this is the Kalaylock Tree of Life. They call it this because it's kind of floating here above this gap here. They got some high tides recently that are getting ready to take it down. So I wanted to get here and see it while we could. That is the Kalaylock Tree of Life and I will be home soon to gut this for you. All right, we're back. I already have this gutted to save us a little bit of time. You can see a little bit more why I'm disappointed. So we have our four pins. There's only four spools here. Our core is a basic cinch core, which personally I hate. It's the ones where you have to turn it the right direction. Our, our cinch is right there because I have the springs and still turn it that way. That way you can pull the, the cylinder out and these just annoy me. Um, another big baffling part of this, which is kind of funny at the same time, is well, they could have saved, uh, in which I don't know why they didn't do this. It could have all been um, so much better if they just thrown a Pro Series core in it. Let me demonstrate. So I got this one from my 6121. 
There we go. There we go. There's nothing there. There we are. Tighten it up. And so the funny thing about this too is, here we are. This is a hand cut key, so it's not turning because of me. There we go. There we are. So Pro Series Core is all that was really needed for that. And like I was saying, the funny thing is uh, their Twitter post uh, announcing everything. Uh, this is their 100th anniversary. Um, let me quote, featuring a matte black body emblazoned with a 100 year line logo, this high security 1921D padlock truly represents our values of strength, reliability, and durability. Hmm. I think the Pro Series does more than the 100th anniversary one. The 100th anniversary one feels more like an insult to 100 years of business, um, to be just blatantly blunt and honest. Um, it's unfortunate. Someone jokingly said, uh, people really wanted that 1921 experience, including the easy pick mechanism, which is, again, it's funny because that's exactly like what I feel we got. We got a 1921 lock in 2021, for their hundredth year anniversary, it's easier to pick than once they're selling today. The lock is pretty. I do like it. I'm glad I bought it still just for the prettiness and just to have a new lock to pick. But I, I was more than disappointed when this came in the mail and I saw four pins. It's good bidding. Awesome. Great. But it's still four pins. Anyways, this is Master Lock's 100th year anniversary padlock. If you feel like getting this, let me know your thoughts about it too. Uh, any comments, drop them down below. And thanks for watching.